tarpon fishing is, it's almost hard to describe to someone who's never done it before because- Oh, dude, right behind me, hurry up. Right behind me, this is the one. There's such a finesse aspect to it. There's such a finesse game to it. And then at the same time, you're casting to something that's almost as big as you are. Keep going slow, he sees it. Move, 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 move. There you go. Oh. Oh. I remember the first tarpon I ever cast to. I mean, my knees were shaking. I, I couldn't believe that I was casting at something so big. Go ahead, to face him left. Go ahead, down to the left one. That might be a bite, slowly, slower. Oh, he sees it. Move it, slow. Strip, strip, go, keep tight, keep tight. There you I go, mean, buddy. it's a fish that you can actually hear it breathing. Yeah. You can hear its scales rattle when it's jumping out of the water. Yeah. You feel it, it's intense, and that's what keeps you coming back. What a bite, huh? Right there, man, man. <laughs> Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking about. Keep going slow, here he comes. Keep going, keep going slow, keep going, got him. Pull, let him go. Nasty, nasty buddy. Oh my oh. word. <laughs> got him, got him, got him, got him. Got him, baby. Get tight. I'm tight, baby, I'm tight. It's all 90 pounders. 90 pounders? Oh, oh, oh. oh, big fish too. It's a big one. Oh, baby, come it's on. It's a big one. Come on, baby. Come on, come on, man. Oh, no, no, Jenna, no. You got to order use medical. It's all the way over here. Yep, yep. Oh, oh yeah, baby. I got him. Look at oh, him. my God. Greyhound. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Patrick Duke. I'm 37 years old and born and raised in Colorado. Currently live in, in Crested Butte, and I'm an artist and a, and a fly fishing guy. Crescent Butte is this groovy little ski town that's tucked in these big mountains in Colorado and I always refer to it as like the snow globe at the end of the road. You drive into this cool valley and you got these giant mountains on, on each side of you and a really small town where you know everyone's really focused on the outdoors and it's just a great place to live. I've been a fly fishing guide for, uh, this will be my 15th season now. And as far as the valley goes, it's, it's a really easy logistics. I mean, there's fishing everywhere in the valley. And what I mostly do is float fishing. Uh, it's a freestone river. We've got tailwater as well. And um, basically from mid-June all the way through October, it's, it's incredible trout fishing. Greg and a few buddies told me about Patrick, who they've fished with, they've hung out with. You know, everybody's like, oh man, you guys would hit it off great. And when I got to meet Patrick, I think it wasn't even five minutes and him and I were dropping movie quotes left and right. And I realized quickly, he likes to crack up. He likes to live life. He's a very, very interesting guy. From everything he does, the artistic side of it to his style and Right then, I felt it on the boat that we had chemistry, we had this connection forever. Like, I haven't even seen him cast yet. And then all of a sudden he picked up their rod and I saw him cast. I was like, okay, done. Dumb and Dumber, the original one. Yeah. Okay. Um, Don't miss old school. Oh yeah, you can't miss old school in that. Step Brothers for sure. Yeah. Because dad, we're men. That means something, because we go on John Boat River gambling trips, okay? We make, we make our jerky. own beef jerky. That's what we do. Now, that is literally ruined. And he goes, we literally have never done any of those things. <laughs> All right, I see him. They're right about to enter the white sand. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. You're gonna toss one right over top of him. Slow. Move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Go. Let him go, bud. Nice job. That was sweet. That thing came racing over to come get it. He came from the bottom, too. <laughs> yee, yee, yee. Oh, there you go. He's off? Yep. Oh, man. All right, that's right. Just strip it in from there. Part of the game. Right there, coming at you, right there. 11 o'clock, coming at you. There you go, move that slowly. Slow, keep going, keep going, slow. He sees it, got him. Oh, that was great. What a bite. Start casting. More to the right edge, brother. Right, right, right. Yeah, right at the end of this hole. 
and far past him and just drop it. Good. Two hand. That's a bite. Here it comes slowly. Here it comes, 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 here it comes. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Got one. There you go, oh. bud. Oh, did he pop? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we got that. <laughs> There's that. So that happens sometimes. There's that. That's okay. All right, all right. We didn't want to catch that one. No. Uh, cut. 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 All right, man. <clears throat> Game Here on. you go. Here you go. Put on another. And then another. Oh, yeah. oh my God. When they come up there and they see that thing roaring, they're going to go yum, 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 yum. <laughs> <laughs> yum, 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 yum. Look at the size of that fish. This is a beast, dude. Beast mode. <laughs> Mad Mark, fish the legend. At Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, we're working to make sure that you'll find healthy populations of bonefish, tarpon, and permit at your favorite destinations. From the Florida Keys to Belize, from the Bahamas to Mexico. But we need your help to fight for clean water and healthy habitats. After all, if we don't conserve our flats fisheries, who will? Please support us today at btt.org and help us bring science to the fight. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Maverick Boats, Fish the Legend. Yamaha, reliability starts here. Costa, see what's out there. And by Bonefish and Tarpon Trust, bringing science to the fight. <laughs> and now, 60 seconds in the mill house. All right, Joe Rodriguez, uh, the greatest friend of the poon. I don't oh. know of anybody who loves the poon more than you. Oh, man, I don't know about that, Andy. You love them. Nikki loves them. A lot of my buddies love them. I feel like in a way they saved my life. So It's amazing how many fly fishermen, flats guys, came from Cuba, ended up in Miami, and the Miami in the early years with Flip oh, yeah. and Chico, Norman Duncan, oh, yeah. uh, J little John Emery. Yeah. That was almost like the, the birthplace Absolutely. of flats fly Absolutely. fishing. Absolutely. Absolutely. So and these, I, and are, I, these are and all I, great mentors of yours, obviously. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Growing up, I, I, I grew up uh, reading the Miami Herald on the weekends, on Thursdays and Sundays, and I couldn't wait to see what the Good. guys in the Met were doing because that was such a big deal to me. Right. You know? um, even at a young age, I was one, always wondering who this Ralph Delf guy was. To watch this and other full-length episodes of the Millhouse podcast, go to YouTube or wherever you find your podcasts. Watch, you're gonna head towards this next white hole there. Look at this one here. See him coming in the dark grass, coming back at yep. us? Go ahead. Slowly, keep going nice and easy, easy. Got him. Oh, keep going. Keep going slow. Slower. Strip slow. Strip, strip. Got him. Let him go now. Keep tight, keep tight. Keep tight. There you go, buddy. Woo! Yeah. Yeah, boy. That's what I'm talking there about. Go. That was seriously cool. Huh? That was awesome. It came out of his mouth. He ran back up <laughs> and said, why not? Hey, man. Good job, man. Way to stick with it. Yeah, Way awesome. to stick with him. You don't like that? Get out. Oh, those eats, man. Oh, yeah, right? Come Boom. On. I like when they start deep and come up at it. Yeah, that's it. He's going to jump right here. You got to jump it. Come on. He's got to chew. Sweet. He said, I'll take that. I want that. I want that. Perfect size fish. Right. Oh. We are on the board, my friend. Mm-hmm. There you go. I'll pull slowly straight up. He's not gonna like that. You don't like that? He's not gonna like that. Pull hard, pull hard, pull hard. Ooh, God. When he sees me, he does not like it. Yeah, I don't think he likes you. 
Oh. Come on, bud. Come on. There it is. <laughs> my man. Right? Beauty, beautiful, dude. man. You know, right? I just love how purple the tail is. It's insane. That's awesome. Perfect, like little 30 pounder mm -hmm. or so. Gotta love that, right? Look at the colors. All right, it's ready to go. This is my favorite part, man. Get spotted. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Well, you said you haven't spent much time tarm fishing, so yeah. might as well start up on the smaller ones, just kind of get a little warm up. Yeah, a little JV, know? a little practice. Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna take your training wheels off now and we're gonna yeah. go do the big stuff. Let's you know, go varsity level. Varsity level. Awesome, bro, that was great. Thank you, Ben. Get an extra pair of eyes you can depend on with our most powerful radar yet. Get more power for vastly improved range and higher resolution. Get more fish. Halo 3000 debuts Bird Plus mode. Get more safety with smart new features like Zone Track and Velocity Track, and get more simplicity. With a range of preset modes, Halo radars have never been so easy to use. Halo Open Array from Simrad, our most powerful radar yet. Your time on the water is precious. You return season after season to make unforgettable memories, fight a few fish, reconnect with friends, and recenter yourself. If you count on having this time, you need an outboard you can count on to power it. That's why boaters stay with Yamaha for the long run, for life. They know reliability starts here. Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Shimano Fishing Products and G. Loomis Rods. Feel connected. Simrad Chart Plotters. Go with confidence. Florida Marine Tracks, clarity in navigation. And by Pathfinder Boats, angler driven. There's no doubt, though, that you know certain people just have what I call the it factor, and that was clear as day with Patrick. He has he has the it factor, and and not only in, in, in the style of fishing, just just in at life as an artist. And I think that's something that's just amazing that I picked up on him. His attention to detail is just is just insane. My biggest inspiration is the places that I cruise around and see and travel to, and those little little moments that are unique because of what gets us out here. And especially you're, you're looking at, like the, over, that's over the Everglades, right? So that's yep. all the built up systems way out there. It's incredible, right? With the colors of the water. Oh my God. Color of the water, color of the sky. sky. All different kinds of clouds. Cloud science. Cloud science. You know, it's just what it is, man. It's, it's cloud science. It's science, bro. He goes, this is, this is so beautiful. I'm gonna paint this for you. I was kind of like, yeah, 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 whatever. He's gonna paint this for me, and he wasn't kidding. You know, he he, he brought his whole kit. Oh, dude, right behind me! Hurry up! Right behind me. This is the one. Good. Barely inch, barely. Slow, slow, slow. He's coming. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going. Oh. <laughs> Dude, he was coming. I know. He was coming. Oh. oh. Go again. Yep, see the second one? Yeah. Go ahead. Get out like seven feet in front of him, right, and drop it. Good. Move it, move it. He's coming. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, slow, keep going, keep going, slow. Got him. Let him go. Nice, buddy. Nice. Big fish too. It's a big one. Oh baby, come it's on. It's a big one. Here we go. He's coming out the boat. Go left and down low. Yep, watch your line now. Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't no bad thing, dude. Awesome, man. Come on. <laughs> come on, man. Come on. Come on, man. Look at the fish.
Silver Kings is brought to you in part by Free Fly Apparel. Comfort on, adventure out. Make a reel, built to last, built to stop. By Yeti, built for the wild. And by Ameritrail Trailers, load, launch, relax. Yeah, that's right, three, two. Woo! All day, that's all day. Shut up. And now, a minute from our conservation partner, Bonefish and Tarpon Trust. BTT has been working in the Bahamas since 2008, studying bonefish movements using dart tags and acoustic telemetry to identify spawning migration routes and pre-spawning aggregation sites. Findings from our research show that bonefish will travel long distances from their home ranges to reach their spawning sites and make significant movements offshore to spawn as deep as 400 feet. Working with bonefish guides and commercial fishermen, we have been able to identify nine pre-spawning aggregation sites around the Bahamas. Identifying key bonefish habitat like pre-spawning aggregation sites is vital to the conservation of bonefish and the lucrative recreational fishery they support. This research helped get 40 new marine protected areas established in 2021, with 25 of those areas protecting key bonefish habitat. To learn more, visit btt.org. Easy, easy, go, pull, let him go. Yeah. Nice, man. What a bite, huh? Uh-huh. Nice job, buddy. Good, quick reaction. He's all the way over here. You got him. Here we go. He doesn't even know what hit him yet. All right, I'm getting started. There we go. Yeah, baby. What a sipper. Come on. I grew up trout fishing in the Rocky Mountains um, as a kid with my pops and, and did it all through middle school, high school, and, and into college. And my first time saltwater fishing was actually down here in the Florida Keys when I was like 24. Awesome, man. Come on! <laughs> come on, Come on! Come on, come on man! I mean, my mind was on full stimulation because it's such a completely different environment. And you have this little finesse game that you have to play in order to seal the deal, in order to get the bite. Yeah, baby! And then the whole world seems to erupt when this fish does what, what we all come down to see it do. Here you come, come on out! <laughs> <laughs> Bro, <laughs> that was insane. Oh. So nasty. So nasty. Just love that long approach, slow slide in. And then you just saw him peel off and go, you know what? Yeah. Sure, You know what sure. I think I might. Here he goes, here he goes. Might be another one, get ready. I think both my art and angling have come from this desire to do these very challenging things. I love fly fishing because it's difficult. It's a challenge, it challenges everything I got. I love oil painting because it's, it's really hard to master. I don't know if I ever will. It's the same like fly fishing. Um, so there's always this constant challenge that keeps me, keeps me going, keeps me excited, keeps me inspired every time I'm on the water, every time I'm standing on the easel. And I think both of them definitely kind of fuel the other one. If I'm not out fishing, if I'm not outside, I'm not getting inspired to do more, to do more paintings. When I am out fishing, when I'm traveling especially, I see all these beautiful things. And, and the first thing I want to do when I get back home and get in the studio is get to the easel and, and start painting. There he is right there. Nice steady pull back, baby. Nice. You're ready. He might do something crazy here. He's gonna come up. He's coming up. Head check. There you go. Here comes jump. Woo! Look the little wrapped around him when he did that. That's all right. Sweet. Sweet. Just like that, man. Don't even need to tell you much. You said you've only done this three times. I think you lied. <laughs> I think you lied to me, man. It reminds you of the, the rivers of Colorado. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Right? Here he comes. Yep, keep pulling. Go a little right, slowly. Right there, and I'll pull hard. See if you can get him up right here. Woo! Yeah, boy. There you go. Right there. Right down his back, baby. Come on. Oh, yeah. That's a pullback. Nice. Nice reactions. Pumped to be doing this with you, my friend. Yeah, dude, this is incredible. This is, this is. I think it was his third shot in on, on a large tarpon, and man, that thing came up, and it looked like he's been tarpon fishing in the Keys for 15 years. And I was like, dude, this guy is the man. This guy is the man. And it, it, it was just one of those days where you're like, 
how many days do we have together? And unfortunately, we only had one. I was like, man, you know, how, how, how can I get this guy back? And he will be back. It's, uh, it's a new friendship that has sparked through fishing. And that's another cool thing about this, this sport, this career I do. And it's the friendships that you make along the way. And people like Patrick better your life. They, they, they bring laughter to your life. They, they bring uh, this bond and you realize there's, you could be uh, anywhere in the world and there's somebody just like you that thinks the same way in the ways of joking and humor, but also just like a good person, a good, a good guy, good solid heart and loves where he lives and loves his wife and what he does. And I was really just, I had the best time the day with him on the water. There it is. There it is. Ooh, spaz out. Gonna get cold beer after this. <laughs> You'll be ready for one, huh? <laughs> Maybe coming up. Maybe yep. coming up. <laughs> yep. Woo! <laughs> yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> there it is. Beautiful. <sighs> You know, so a big sign, you know, which I'm sure you know, but when you're target fishing and fighting them, right, to understand when your polling time is, when they're like that, it's a tail. Right. When you see the tails moving, right, you wait for that moment that it stops, and then you pull back, right? See it stopped a little bit? Nope, then it went going. But like, there's a time where all of a sudden you'll watch it, and as an angler, it's, you know, it might be a split second or two, and you'll see it stop, then you try to pull, get right down his back and pull. And it'll make him all disoriented and all of a sudden then you, you get a chance to grab him. He's not happy with us. Nope. There it is. <laughs> nice. Nice, buddy. There you go. We almost got him there. It's almost got him. Very close. I saw when he came up, I saw the fly yeah. right beside his tongue. It looked like almost. Why are you breathing so hard? I don't know. <laughs> right there, yep. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Find that thing like a champ. Keep pulling right there. Keep pulling, keep his head up. Nope, not yet. Woo, come on, girl. Keep, keep going, keep going, keep going, buddy. Keep going, left, 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 a little bit. I got her, man. I got her, baby, yeah! Yeah, yeah boy! Yeah. Look at that. Woo! Beautiful. Woo! <laughs> you, got them, you got them trout paws, That's dude. Right. You got them trout paws, look at that. Beautiful, Beauty. right? Now the favorite part here, when you go to let go, grab it by the end of the tail and squeeze hard there. Squeeze hard, both hands right oh there. Oh my God, look at right. that tail. Dude. Yeah, look at that. Oh, brother. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. That was incredible, man. Boom! That's a wrap! It's cut, it's, it, it's over, it's over, okay? It's over. It's not even fair. It's, it's over, okay? You got Pat the Duke up on this ma. What we're doing out here, it's not even fair. It's not even fair. Comes. Oh.